reducible interest using the Repay2 program. If you don't have a copy of this one, um, let's just show you a website here. Here we are, charliewatson.com slash uh, classpad will take you to this page. And if you tap on to programs, then uh, here it is. And if we scroll down the page here, APGP Mav, here's the program we're after, Repay, used to solve loan repayment problems and uh, we want the copy for ClassPad 2, Repay 2. If we click onto that, uh, we'll see it downloads and then how to get it into your calculator. Remember up at the top of the page, how to download into your ClassPad, get instructions. So if we click on how to do it on new two, uh, with a bit of luck, we will get some instructions show up on the screen. Uh, here we are, how to transfer files. So we tap onto that one. This opens up a PDF, which you, how many pages is it? It's not that many, maybe two or three pages long that explains how to do that. So um, let's assume you've got a copy of the program in your calculator. Now, before we start it, let's just nip into statistics. There's nothing in there. And also into the sequence app up here, and there's nothing in there at the moment. Now, the program will put um, some information into those two applications. Let's have a look, program. And from the drop-down box, here it is, Repay2. To start the program, I tap on play at the top of the screen. And here, options one, sequence, and two tab will overwrite data in sequence and stats app, tap OK to continue. So you don't need to use those options, but if you do, it's warning you it's going to put some information over the top of what you've already got. Here we go then, the initial loan amount we enter is 4,000 and um, we'll tap on to OK. The interest rate, 15%, so 15 goes in. Now, um, another alternative to tapping OK is simply tap Execute twice to enter these numbers and we jump onto the next window. The amount of each repayment is $350. I'll tap OK. And the number of repayments per year, the last bit of information ClassPad needs is it's monthly, so there'll be 12 payments per year, and we say OK. And in the bottom screen here, we've got summary information about our loan. The first uh, one, two, three, four are what we told it, and then ClassPad's recalculated that we're gonna take 13 payments, the last payment, the total repaid, and the total interest. If you need that information, it's straight to hand. now. The options here are three, two, and one, or six. Uh, if we choose option six, it gives us um, some information about what's going on and the other options here. If we tap play to get back to the menu, nine obviously quits the program. Let's choose three to get a particular row. So I'll tap three and ClassPad says, right, we can show you rows one to 13. So maybe we want to look at um, the, the, the last row. We'll put in 13 and tap OK. And it says right at the start of this month 13, you had $141.89 owing. The interest for the month was $1.77. So the total repayment is $143.67, which will end up with a closing balance of zero. And uh, to get back to the main menu again, we tap on the little play icon next to the battery. Uh, option two creates a table in statistics. Option one, let's do that next. Option one, and we tap OK. And it's gone straight into um, sequence and put in the necessary formulas into sequence. And here we are, we've got the recursive formula to repay this, plus in column B, the monthly interest. Um, notice the figures haven't been rounded here, uh, so you guys would still need to round that. Let's tap play to continue on. If we chose option two, table, this creates a table of values for the whole spreadsheet, but it's put them into statistics. Uh, we can see here, here are the monthly balances decreasing. In list two are the uh, interest rates. In the bottom screen, the total repaid and the total interest for the calculated rows is shown. We could change to four rows and see everything there or go back to two rows or back to three rows using the change row icon. Now, when we're done here, we can play. Um, we've basically had a look at all the options there. So when we want to finish a program at any stage, simply tap on the menu item and that takes you out of it uh, in the quickest way.